Right guys, we are at Little Downham on Friday. Two days, Friday, Saturday, yeah, two days before my event. And um, I am come to do the 90 course walk. I'm actually early to walk the course, um, but they've said that it's okay for me to go and have a wander around. I'm also going to be taking some pictures for the cross country app um, photos of my course and any others that I come across. But this is so weird. So I've always been used to Little Downham being kind of like ran the same way round, um, but they've mixed it up this event and um, it's all running backwards, <laughs> which is weird. So we are over this side of the course, which doesn't make any sense to you, but we're over a completely different side and the start box is here and behind me. And then we come to fence one, which is this lovely, um, pretty flowery kind of ascending roll top thing, um, which is very inviting and um, will be a lovely first fence. So although I haven't done a BE90 with Ember before, obviously, um, I've jumped some 90 fences because that's what you do in training. And I have jumped a few of these 90s, uh, I think, because they did a training event here where you could like pick your own fences. So I, um, I have jumped some of these before, much like the second fence, which I'm coming up to now, which is a nice little table thing. So this is fence two. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Nice rhythm into it. And pop, I mean, see, it's not that much bigger than the 80, really, is it? It's just a fraction, fraction bigger. So just look up over the top. Hopefully he picks up his little leggies and uh, over to fence three. <laughs> I'm having such a shocker with horse flies. Can I show you this bite on my leg? Look at this monster. It's like this big. Oh my God, it's so painful. I did have one, there's a bruise there from my old one. And I've got one around the back there as well, which is great. So, oh, it's really sore and I feel like it's gonna get even bigger. E nice little curvy rail thing at fence three. The pipe, that's what it is. It's a pipe, it's a curved pipe. I wonder how they get that pipe to bend. Are they made like that? I've seen a bent pipe before. This is the Rothdale's pipe, by the looks of it. <laughs> okay, so at fence four, we have this uh, double <laughs> of roll tops which is probably a three. I'll walk that in a minute. But actually, you kind of do it on a little bit of an angle. So obviously that's straight. So you want to be coming slightly this way, which luckily the other day, I practiced some fences on an angle. So we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, but that's really nice. Just look up and ahead and they won't even notice the angle. I've just walked it, it's a two, not a three. It shows how good my eye is. <laughs> but I think it's a forward two. But I don't think we have any problems with being forward. So that'll be fine. Um, yeah, and actually, I think I prefer that to the 80 because um, they're quite, they are obviously a little smaller um, and Ember just needs something a little bit to back him off um, things because otherwise he does get quite whizzy whizzy. Um, so I'm just trying to take the pictures for the cross country app um, because we all love looking at course photos, don't we? And this is not an ad for the cross country app. I do use it, I do pay for the full thing because I think it's so helpful um, <laughs> to learn your courses. Says me who last time I went here, uh, spoiler alert, I jumped the wrong course by missing out fence. So. Whoopsie. Okay, so now we come to fence five, which historically I've stressed about these fences because they're quite wide. Um, so that's the one that I jumped last time. And actually it's good because it backed him off a little bit because he was like, ooh. Um, and then obviously this is the 90 version, which I'm, yeah, no, I'm fine about that actually. Uh, and then, I mean, Lara's jumped this 100. So if Lara can do it, Ember can do it, that's my, philosophy but yeah she's quite wide 
but hopefully if there's a photographer up this end we might be uh, in luck I mean look at it compared to the not like that's massive that is that's what Justine's doing she's a big one she's a big one but actually this is what uh, professionals call a lad up fence because it's like pretty straightforward so uh, that's what I'm going to see it as a nice let up fence <laughs> okay so here we have a rail to I believe this is a ditch so let's do some walking together with my horsefly bite <laughs> ready one two one two three one one two three two one two three three one two three four and it's a little ditch and we're fine with ditches so we just go there we go and after said ditch I have to be paying attention and looking where I'm going so look left after the ditch because there's a nice roll top I feel like it's on a little bit of a hill uh, not too much no it's fine a um, little bit of undulation but nothing major and then looking ahead to seven and then I feel like we go right after then okay so this is fence eight which ugh, I mean historically I don't really like fences like this because Lara uh, always would be like nah at these but I have to think that Ember is not Lara and as long as I keep my positive rhythm hopefully it'll be fine it's, I mean, it's not that different to the hundred one like really height wise I think they look pretty similar um, anyway it's fine because this is a combination so even if I'm looking at that which I'm not going to because the trick is, guys, you got to look up and over your fence, apparently. So, <laughs> so I'm, or as I'm going over this, I'm looking over here, because that is a turn. How the hell am I going to do that? That's going to be a handbrake turn. Um, probably might even have to jump that one on an angle. I'm going to walk this line a minute, I think. Okay, so if I jump to the left of that one, um, I then scoop round, and I'm probably going to be at the left of here, but looking kind of that way um, and it doesn't really matter as long as he's locked on between these flags just keep going and pop over it it gets do you, you hate walking up to fences it looks quite small like from over there but actually you get up to it it's a bit bigger than it was before this is a nice little roll top half roll top with a little brush on the top that would also be quite a nice photo fetch actually they're so pretty if you go down in the woods today you're sure in for a big surprise. Ooh, what could it be? It's a tricana. Didn't say that right. It's a tricana. Chaple bleu. Something that I can't spell. This is a very nice tricana. This is much nicer than the tricana at the other end of the uh, course that they normally have. So I'm quite happy with this. Here we go. You've got trees to guide you in. A lot going on here actually because you're that fence you got all these trees all this foliage it's quite mystical actually um yeah i like that that's fine and it's actually it's a diddy one there's like you just think of it as a uh, a jump with a nice ground line that's how i think paul gaff used to tell me that it's just jump with a nice ground line uh, which, yeah, it's true, it's got a nice ground line, and it's a jump, and you go over it. So, I'm probably, so that we don't end up going completely in the trees, probably going to try and go a bit to the left, try and go down that path. Although <laughs> Ember is forward and a bit crazy, um, I actually struggle with the time with him because um, because he is so forward when I let him go and he goes it's quite difficult for me to get him back towards the fence so I'm kind of keeping him more in the box in his canter which means that I do struggle then to get to the time we haven't f yet found that happy medium and obviously with doing the 90 we're probably going to find it even harder because um, it's going to be faster than 80 so but we're not going for the time I'm literally just going around to have a nice poppy time see if I can hopefully get a little bit more of a rhythm and I'll be happy with that oh look the 80 have got a lovely black flag option here if you don't want to do this ditch you can do that instead which is very nice isn't it okay so we've just come all the way through those woods there and out to these this double of 
um, flower boxes, which, yeah, they're okay. We've jumped these before, but the smaller versions, obviously. Um, yeah, that's nice. And it is a related, so it's A and B. I will walk it, but do you know what? Sometimes I think, especially with Ember, if I just keep the canter and just ride it, I, I just don't want to get too into my head about strides because <laughs> realistically, guys, can I remember the amount of strides to every fence? No, but um, yeah, I will walk them just in case. But I think as long as you look for your line, keep the keep the rhythm, and I don't, I don't go too gung ho. That's what I've learned recently. If I just stay back in my that's what I've learned. If I just stay back in my body position and just let the fence come to me, um, then we should be all gravy. What I don't want him to do is land, lock on and bolt. So what I might, if he does do that, I land, sit up, woe back, balance ourselves and then kind of bowl onto the next. So that's the plan anyway. So fence 12 is possibly the smallest fence on the course. <laughs> There's a little house, which is uh, pretty good. But this is normally where the lorries park. So um, yeah, it's really backwards. <laughs> it's all a bit mind boggling because the dressage arenas were there last time. So I'm hoping because last time he found it all very ugh, tense with the layout. I'm hoping that maybe he might like this layout a little bit more. Maybe. We can but hope, can't we? Fence 13, unlucky for some, this is a corner, everybody. Um, quite a nice one. Nice, it's, you know, it's not too narrow. Um, and it's not too wide, if that makes sense. Uh, so I think as long as you get a good approach to it, don't overthink it, aim for the middle, <laughs> you'll be fine. Because realistically, at the middle point, she ain't that wide. So it's like, probably an arms okay over an arm my arms aren't that long but yeah it's not too bad that is fine so 14 is this lovely little uh what do you call that it's not a tiger trap because it's not gappy thing triangle <laughs> into the water um and that is just a and b so b i think you just splash through and then probably come out that side of that fence Okay, so I've just found my first way to save some time if I'm down on the clock. So instead of going out, so you go over that one there through the splash and that is through the flag. So you can either come out that side and go round there to that fence over there, or I think you can come this side, whoop, which is what I'm gonna do because it gives you a more direct line to these fences over here. So if I need to save some time, that's where I'm going. 15, very straightforward. Little, well, I call everything a roll top. I don't know if that's a, it's not a roll top. It's a thing, it's a like, little arch. If anyone can tell me the name of that and then do. Okay, so then we've got a bit of a handbrake into the water. So this is A and then there's B out there, which looks quite sizable actually. Okay, so this one might be a tad more challenging um, just because it's that little bit skinnier and you're coming out after the water um, but I think as long as you look up just like anything look up and over and hopefully that is where you'll go okay so this is a fence funnily enough on the top of a hill so actually when when I was over there I was like oh my god that's really mean but um, there is actually a little bit we're not taking off halfway up the hill so there is a bit to work with here um, this is A, but where is B? Where is B? Ooh, have we got a step down? Have we got a step down? Yes, we do. Oh, this is, ooh, wow. Hello, <laughs> a bit large, what? Okay, well, I was not expecting that, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but there's fence 18 and the finish. So if we, we could jump it on this side. That's this, jumping it to the right is probably preferable because, wow, I'm not even gonna pop down there. That's huge. I'm obviously going to jump it here. 
it's aiming straight for there. Let's think right instead of here <laughs> because it's obviously a lot bigger. Oh dear. And the last fence is this one. And yeah, and that is that. Everybody, happy days. Okay, so Justine's just called me and she's just turned up. So I'm hoping that I'm just going to get her advice quickly about that step um, because that is the only fence I think and maybe the skinny out of the water but I think that's the only fence which I'm a bit like oh I've not done something quite like that and it's the end of the course and I feel like it might be anyway don't overthink it it'll be fine see what Justine says and then we'll go from there <laughs> right Justine has turned up with, Hello. with her super group um, and luckily because the start is right next to the finish and um, I can bend Justine's ear about this little combo Combination. that we have see what one out of those guess in front would you say is mine well it's probably the one with the big drop yeah it is well, it's, big, right. it's big but and that's... it's big when you get up there as well yeah but he's not bothered about drops he's just coming well, I haven't really done one like that before though well, you've got, you're overthinking it. Yeah, I knew, but this is what I've said before. I said that. It, you just I'm ride not gonna... it, and what will be will be. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, just... He'll jump off there, yeah. and then all you've got to do is sit up and. Uh, is that yours there, yeah. straight in front? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. But look look at it from the top. It's just quite, it's quite beefy. It's good. Yeah, but it's, it won't be from the top. Excuse my pajama bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So you look so small up there now. See, that's good. Yeah? That combine is really ruining my vibe. You've got to remember. No, you're so tiny! <laughs> Hello! Remember, he's going to be looking there. Yeah. And you want him to be looking And I'm there. not going to be looking down here. No, don't. You'll be looking at your last friend. Yeah, I'll be looking there. Have, have you got to jump this one? Uh, yeah, the one, that one there. It's quite a nice line. Hang on. Oh my god. Hoi. Oh. Not that one, this one. Okay, so this is lovely. Yeah. All you've got to do is come round, sit up, push him up the hill. Yeah. Always push them up the hill. Yeah. And then get him back, literally push him, drive him to it. Don't be thinking I've got to get him back for that step here. Yeah. Jump this and just keep riding. <laughs> fly off the no, edge of the world. just keep riding and, and just push him off. He'll jump off it beautifully. He won't hesitate. Sit up and just get his head up for the last one. There we go. Lovely. Okay, thanks. You'll be fine. If this is all you've got to worry about, uh, yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah, there's there's only one other, like, but that's just me, probably. What fence is that? Oh, it's out of the water. Okay. And it's just a bit First of a water. narrow... No, second one. Second one. Um, but I think it's actually fine. Look at this horse sled bike. Oh, look at that. That's bad, oh. isn't it? And I've got one on the back there. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? Oh it's actually God. getting bigger as I get round. And yeah. it's, it's got some heat to it as well. Yeah, it looks it. Mm. That's attractive. I know, it's really attractive. <laughs> I've just done like a full body shot and I might actually cut that bit out. Yes, <laughs> I look great. That looks sore. Right, and you're doing this one because you're doing the novice. That, but... that, one, that one, that's nice. Yeah. That's... Anyway, we're ruining the surprise because you're doing it backwards. So yeah, no, that's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Surprise! Um, I think actually yours is nicer than mine. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> be ready for this I'll be one next time. Ready for novice, yeah. yeah. Who needs to do a hundred? Actually, I think mine's. I think the hundred's easier. This is nice. It smells like poo. Man. This is fine. You just keep coming. Yeah. Just make sure you push to that one. Don't be thinking about that one at that yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I physically couldn't sit. A stand in that heat for any longer so I've had to come back in the car just to say bye to you guys and I hope you enjoyed the course walk vlog um, I'm about to head home and I'm actually taking Ember over to Justine's for a little bit of a flat work school um, but not before I eat my combination of salads which are is the Santorini salad which is basically like the world's most basic salad uh, and but I pair it with the superfood nutty one which is really good. Anyway, guys, wish me luck for Sunday and uh, yeah, wish us well. Hopefully 
we'll all have a great time and it'll be lovely and yeah I'm just really excited um I'm not really that nervous to be honest weirdly yet but who knows it's only Friday so who knows what Sunday morning I'll be feeling like so yeah anyway right thank you for tuning in see you soon goodbye <laughs>